Hi guys, I'm back. Um, no notice or anything. Just uh, I, I realized I forgot to mention something today. Um, someone had asked me how you use a hummingbird holder and I told her I would uh, demo one in the video for today and I totally spaced it out. So um, for whoever wants to know what the hummingbird holders are if they don't already know, uh, these are little holders that are made from Ely Gamini. Uh, he's on Facebook, and uh, that's who you would contact if you wanted to buy them. Um, I don't sell them or get any commission from them, but I think they're a really neat uh, tool. So I, um, I like to advertise for them because I think they're very useful. So um, let me see here. I want to check if I can see with my computer here. Yeah, I can. Okay. Anyway, um, I've got a few of the holders that he sells, and this is it right here. Uh, I started off with just these three. Uh, this is a single long, is what he calls this. Um, this is, a, I believe, a double long, and these are the short singles. And this is a three-way little holder that I really haven't used much, but um, I'm sure in some applications it might be helpful. So um, let's see here. So like I said, I just got these recently, and I've used them a few times, and I really like this size. If you're working in a small area or on a small board or on a tripod, you don't have a lot of space. So these little short ones are pretty handy. Uh, and they're fairly heavy. These little guys, I, they're made of some kind of steel. I'm not really sure the weight of any of it or if it really matters. But, um, but they're pretty handy when you're soldering. So just for example... Uh, when I want to put a bale on, and I'm just using like a uh, a jump ring that I've cut off a, a little portion, trying to balance that and keep it from falling off, or or keeping it steady and uh, and straight, these little holders are great for that because you can put uh, your jump ring down, you know, your you can get your solder and all that stuff prepared, and you can put one little holder on one side and one holder on the other side to hold it down. And if you really wanted to make sure everything stayed nice and steady, you could even put another one on this end and just keep them all on here. And then you could go ahead and flux and um, and solder, you know, do all of that stuff. These retain the heat for quite some time, so you want to be careful and use uh, some utility pliers to pick them up. And you could even put them on a bench block or something to cool off before you use it again. These will act as a heat sink, which means uh, you have to heat your metal a little bit longer than you might like to, but uh, this will draw some of the heat away from the actual piece so you have to be conscious of that if it takes a little longer for your solder to flow that's why these are are um, kind of like uh, sucking up the heat okay so these are the three that I use the most the the long single and the two short singles uh, but the other ones are handy to have. It just depends on what you're doing. So not just for putting on a bale, of course. If you're um, attaching, you know, other pieces of metal to another piece, this, you could put that down just like that, and it would hold it steady. So that's kind of a nice feature. And also, if you're uh, putting a bezel cup, like something pre-made, you could put that in there, you know, center your work put it in there and that keeps it from moving. Sometimes things shift a little bit as they're getting hot. Um, so that's another way to use them. But I've seen people, you know, doing different uh, demos or whatever, doing their work and they've got 
one piece that's got all kinds of um, uh, things that they're attaching on. So they'll have like three or four of these all on one piece. So they're, they're very versatile. So that's really, you know, what I use them for. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know how anybody else uses uh, theirs, but it has to be a similar way. So, um, you know, I, I just wanted to share that with you because there were a few people that really didn't know what they were, what they were for. Uh, Ely had a, a sale over the weekend. Uh, I don't know if he would still honor it now or not, but you can always message him on his Facebook page. Um, I've got that, a post about that from last week uh, in the group, so you can look that up if you want to contact him and just ask him if he would still honor that sale price or not, uh, if you're interested. But I think it was, I think his deal was buy four, get one free, and with free shipping. So that's a pretty good deal. So anyway, I hope that that uh, helped whoever needed, you know, uh, wondered about it. So I just forgot about it today to mention it. So that's how I roll. <laughs> so you guys take care. I'll see you on the on Facebook. Take care. Bye-bye.